What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a few months since I made a video of Grumpy, my now cell gecko, and I thought this would be the perfect time to make an update. And the reason why is obviously by the title, he finally turned three years old. My super tiny baby now tail gecko is finally three years old and he actually okay and he actually does look a little bit bigger than before so I guess he's still growing. Okay, I actually got grumpy when he was just one month old so he's been with me you know basically his entire life you know from being in, in a tiny little setup in my bedroom and then going to a bigger setup in the living room and then now finally in his bioactive setup in my reptile room he's been through a lot and I am very happy that uh, I get to see him uh, you know go through all of this stuff and you know find out everything that he likes to eat and all of that good stuff now aside from the fact that he just turned uh, three years old I also wanted to make a video of him because um. I was actually making updates on all of my geckos and I seriously did not even think about making a video of him because nothing really has changed in you know six months um, or it's been already like eight months since uh, he went to uh, his bioactive setup the only seriously the only difference is that uh, now uh, he's using the cave that I made for him now some of you might remember you know uh, uh, the setup which you know I'm still gonna show you at least uh, a little bit uh, but you know he does have a he does have a cave on his setup and it took him about uh, probably like four months to figure out that uh, he was able to dig and you know basically uh, find a cave now that is uh, where you know uh, he hides uh, for the most part And that is seriously the only thing that has changed with him. You know, he's still eating perfectly uh, every single time that I, that I try to feed him. When I know that it's, you know, time to feed him, he will eat. And, you know, he's looking good. Uh, so that's, you know, that's basically the reason why I... Um, so that's basically the reason why I didn't make a video of him. But I feel, you know, I felt kind of bad um, making a video of all of my other geckos and not of him. Especially because uh, he's the one that's been the most here with me. Uh, so, you know, that made me feel bad. <laughs> but okay, this gecko does not want to stay still. And I am afraid of dropping him. You know, he is a small uh, terrestrial gecko and um, he will fall from my hands really easily. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put him on, on his setup, but you know, let's go ahead and uh, record that so I can show you the setup. I wanna take some pictures of him, you know, in his setup, so I'm gonna wait a little bit on putting him. He's here for now, but you know, I guess this is a good way for you to pay attention to the details. I love this gecko. I love the way that he looks and what can I say? I love this gecko. And you know, this is the reason why I made this setup. You know, I, I try to do it for all of my lizards, but you know, um, you cannot lie and you know, tell me that you don't have a favorite lizard. And you know, when it comes to geckos, I think Grumpy is my favorite gecko. But you know, this is uh, his setup. Uh, you know, as um, some of you might remember how it looks, it still looks basically the same I mean the only thing that has changed is that uh, this is new and this is a uh, you know a, a life plant it is a it is a life succulent but yeah I mean uh, his setup looks pretty much the same I, I was able to take a picture of him in his uh, water dish which uh, looked really cool because you know since it does look like a like a dinosaur footprint it, you know it looked really cool but yeah I mean uh, you know his uh, his setup like I said, it's uh, basically the same, and this is actually the height, you know, for those of you that don't know, this is the height that I made from him. I used um, two kind of squarish rocks, and you know, put one on each side, and uh, you know, this flat one on top. So he's able to dig, you know, from here basically all the way down, and actually does uh, come out through, uh, through this side. 
So yeah, that's a, you know, that's a really good hide from him and uh, I figured out that uh, since they are a borrowing uh, species, you know, uh, he was going to uh, eventually find it. At, well, at least I was hoping that uh, that would be the case. But all right, let's put him in his uh, in his setup. You know, I really want to uh, take some pictures of him, but uh, I am afraid that uh, he's going to <laughs> to just run and hide. You know, he already knows uh, where to go, and um, I'm pretty sure that uh, that's going to happen. So I'm going to put pause on the video and take some pictures because I really don't want to take advantage. How cool is this? Look at him. Grumpy, my grumpy, my now tell gecko. Three years old, and you know, I've had people still telling me that I should breed him, breed him uh, especially because um, some of you might not know, but uh, this species is now considered endangered, you know, in uh, its uh, native um, habitat in Australia. So apparently it's going to be a lot more difficult to, uh, you know, getting them from Europe. Uh, you know, I do live here in the US and um, everything is going to be much, much more expensive. So I really don't know if I should or not. And the problem is that um, they are already going so high in price. So yeah, for me to find a female is already, um, it's already difficult and the price that I've seen on them is crazy high. So to be honest, I don't think I will be breeding him because um, if uh, they were still uh, you know affordable for most people then maybe I would but alright yeah so that is uh, the reason why I don't think I will be breeding him uh, you know at least I'm not planning on doing so um, unless I find a female on the cheap side which I don't think it's going to happen uh, you know I don't I just don't think that I'm going to breed him so I'm just going to let him live uh, his life as a virgin but that's just how it's going to have to be but all right, you know, uh, now that uh, he is in his final setup, you know, it's kind of hard sometimes to make a bit of, of him uh, because I don't really get a lot of clips from him and there probably won't be any more changes with him. So to be honest, I think it's gonna take me an entire year to make another update on him, you know, once he turns four years old, which, you know, hoping that uh, uh, he will be with me, uh, you know, at a very old age. Yeah. But yeah, I still, you know, every once in a while I take a few clips which I save them to use uh, on this uh, updates. And of course, you know, uh, I am going to use uh, those clips on, on this video, you know, wherever I have. And I hope that you guys enjoyed those clips. And you know, of course, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, please make sure to give it a like. Like I said, you know, I don't really have a lot to say uh, on him. Not much has changed other than He's a healthy, happy, grumpy looking, now tell gecko. But all right, if you guys haven't, please make sure to subscribe and I will be making, you know, more videos and I will see you next week.